Hello, this is Pastor Jay of Walk with Truth Radio Network with your encouraging word for today. It's inspired by Proverbs 29 and 18. We quote the first part, but we do not quote the second part. Therefore, we have a lack of understanding about the context to which this is talking and the definition of power to which it is to be given. So stay tuned. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraints. But blessed is he who keeps the law. Blessed is he who keeps the law. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraints. And blessed is he who keeps the law. Well, we always read the first part. And we always talk about vision. It's normally our vision. But clearly, it's talking about revelation. Where there is no revelation from God, the people can't run. Where there's no revelation from God, the people can't move forward. So the vision that he's talking about is a revelation from God. And because the people have no revelation from God, they discard all the laws and the precepts of God. You have to remember when this was written. This was written to a Jewish nation. But the principle stands true for all nations. When there is no revelation from God, no prophetic revelation from God, read it out of the ESV and other versions, then the people will perish. The people will have no direction. The people can't go anywhere because it's by God's free will that we do. And we have our being. We move about by the power of the Holy Spirit which gives us revelation of who he is and what he's doing in our lives that we move it's not necessarily about our visions for ourselves to make us rich or famous or important but it's about God's revelation of himself Jesus Christ Yeshua Mashiach that we can move and do without that revelation that revelation of a savior that revelation of one to come through the line of David the line of Judah who takes away the sins of the world, who is a slain lamb before the foundation of the earth. The one who knew you in your mother's womb, the one who has given you an assignment, the one who has made you who you are today, the one who died so you could be conformed to his image, who sent back the Holy Spirit and now is sitting on the right-hand side of God, interceding on our behalf, having all power. That's the revelation you need. And with that revelation, with that prophetic God-given revelation, you could move forward in your life. So pastor, what are you saying? Is it okay that I have a vision and want to do some things? Of course it is. You have liberty. But you need to seek the revelation of God inside your vision so you can see clearly on what God wants you to do because no matter what you think and what you want, if God doesn't fuel it, fund it, and get it done, if he doesn't provide for you in it, it won't happen. Because nothing that God wants to do will be thwarted by your imagination. So not only gain the information, but get the revelation of God so that your visions can be seen clearly. This is Pastor Jay of Walk of Truth Radio Network. I always want you to be encouraged, be blessed, and be at peace. Get the information. Gain the revelation. Hello, this is Pastor Jay again, and I want you to do me a favor and go to our Walk in Truth YouTube page, our Walk in Truth Radio Network YouTube page. Subscribe, like, and share. And if the Lord moves you, you can also donate on your favorite platform of choice. You can also continue to check us out on many different podcast platforms. Whichever one you choose, we're there. Or you can simply hashtag DRJCS2. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Peace. We like to thank you for listening to the Walk in Truth broadcast. Our worship service is held every Tuesday and Sunday at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ building. 
located at 2301 Wallace Avenue, Overland, Missouri, 63114. Tuesday's Bible study is at 7 p.m. and Sunday worship at 8.30 a.m. All are welcome. If you would like to donate to this ministry please look in the description box and donate on your favorite platform of choice. Continue to listen to us on our Walk in Truth Radio Network YouTube page and on our Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship Facebook page. Please subscribe to either platform to be notified when we are broadcasting. We again want to thank you for your prayers and your continuous support. May God bless you, keep you and always remember, walk in the truth of the Lord Jesus and be at peace.